liqueurs. 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 These are tequila-based liqueurs that we're giving the Brands of Promise Award for. This is our very first Brands of Promise that we've ever done, 15 years in the business. And we're finally giving away awards for, for brands that we feel are brands of promise, that show promise in the industry. Maybe these, maybe you haven't heard of them. Maybe you don't see them a whole lot in your liquor store. They're out there hustling. They're literally selling this stuff out of the trunk of their car if they had to. You, you know, Alex, you've met them. I've met them. We're interviewing them. We're writing about them. Um, and now we're, we're recognizing them. Um, for uh, bronze, uh, I, I will read off the, the bronze category winner. I, I, should probably, I should probably just, you know, s s name them off. We have in that category, Avion Espresso. That's right, Avion made it in there with, you know, and you and I spoke about Avion Blanco, you know, years ago when they first came out. So this is Avion Espresso. Peligroso Cinnamon, which it just came out in 2013, when, and at this in this in this taping right now, Peligroso has just been bought by Diageo, so you know that was that they were on Diageo's radar, and the last one for that we have in this category is De La Terre Maple Cinnamon Liqueur. And, and that's an unusual labeling. The, the brand owners are out of Canada. And why don't we read off, first of all, Alex, who gets the bronze medal? The bronze goes to De La Tire Maple, Cinnamon De La, Liqueur. De La Tire. They, uh, uh, Lisa Peach, our, our COO, who is in charge of uh, doing reviews on unusual tequilas, you know, infused tequilas, uh, all, all, the, all the stuff that's not the 100 proof, like what, or 100 percent agave, like what, we're, what you and I are doing. And she found that the Delaterre maple cinnamon bronze was exquisite. And this was really tight. This was a tough thing for her because she's from Maine. Uh, <laughs> you know, they, they, they're, they're like a hot skip and a jump from, from Canada. So what, what I enjoyed about it and what Lisa and I talked about is that the maple was not, it's not the maple syrup that you get from Aunt Jemima. All right. It's not, it's not that candy, nasty, you know, this is what real maple tastes like. And it kind of throws people off because, you know, if you grow up with, maple syrup for your, over your pancakes, do you think that's the real thing? It's not. What, what they did with Delaterre is the real thing. It's very subtle, very well balanced, and they came out with a bronze medal. Uh, silver medal, Alex went to Peligroso Cinnamon. Obviously, it was a, uh, I think it was, a, it not only was was it great to cook with because uh, Lisa actually baked a couple of recipes that you'll find on Tequila Aficionado. Look for them. They're on, our recipes are on there and they're on our Pinterest page as well. It was very, very versatile to cook with, surprisingly. And but it was very well done on its own, you know, without without aeration, without ice. It was very well well done. Obviously, Diageo thought so too, because they just bought the entire Peligroso line, including the cinnamon, all right, which was a smart move, in, in my opinion. Um, and Alex, why don't you read the, 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 who the gold medal goes to? The gold goes to Avion, Avion Espresso. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, uh, this was, you know... You, you've had, you and I have had stuff like Kahlua, we've had, you know, uh, Starbucks, we've had anything that's got a, that's got a coffee liqueur. Tia Maria is another one that, that a few people know about. Um, there's a lot of ways that you could mess this up. Uh, XO is one of them. The Patron XO tastes like caramelized, to, you know, caramelized coffee at the bottom of the pot when you go to 7-Eleven. All right. Um, 
you could have very easily have messed this up. And Avion did not. And I've had it. I can tell you that Lisa swears by it. We're nursing that bottle. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you can get it, you can find it. It's, it's, a, it's I know it's available in Southern California. I'm sure we can find it here in Texas. You can probably find it anywhere. Uh, I think uh, Ken Austin, one of the owners, and the Avion, the Avion team did a wonderful job with this one in particular. And it's not that coffee liqueur per se. It really does taste like espresso. So you can, oh. you can put it in your coffee, you can put it in your, in your drink, put it in the martini. You know, you can, it's very versatile. Uh, I, I say sip it from a shot glass, you know, on cold days like we've been having here in, in, in Texas. Um, it's great in your coffee, dude. And I tell you, just as plain old, it's better than Bailey's, man, let me tell you. So congratulations to them to win the gold medal at our Brands of Promise Tequila Liqueur category.